what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Grand Theft Auto 5. So last time was crazy. We went on a repo job for Simeon and it turned into a gang war or something. We slaughtered 10 guys and then we repoed this ugly ass bike. I'm talking about it's a $20,000 bike and the guy decided to paint it green. Either way though, we went to repo the bike and then Lamar, after we massacred 10 guys, decided, you know what? I'm going to keep the bike for myself. So I have a feeling this episode, Simeon is going to lay into me. Now look, you can't be mad at me, Simeon. I am your uh, employee of the month. I wouldn't scam you like that. Either way though, we're here in my very nice room that doesn't smell like semen and dirty socks. I just took a massive chug of this five gallon cola. Your boy's hyper with uh, all the sugar and uh, wasted. Um, Auntie, listen, by the way. Boy, you dropped me sick with worry. Yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. By the way, you didn't happen to find a bag under my bed that looked like, I don't know, Brussels sprouts? Because that was not weed. It was for a science project and I need it back because I need to uh, uh, study it later on. So, you, you know what I'm saying? I hear she's hungry for the dick. She's a hoe. That's exactly what's happening. What am I talking about? Okay, so well, let's go find out exactly what Simeon wants. <laughs> <coughs> The air here smells terrible. Ah, oh, nothing like living in Los Santos. We got gangbangers, prostitutes, dirty streets, drugs. What a great day to be alive. And I'm sure Simeon is gonna murder me for what Lamar did. You know what's weird? I have this nice ass car, but I live with my aunt. How does that make any type of sense? If I were Franklin, I would invest in my own house. Cause what if he wants to bring a girl over? Oh, aunt, listen, I'm bringing all these women into my room. Don't come in. Although she's doing the same thing, but you know what, forget it. Let's not try and figure out the logistics of how this operation goes down. Um, being a grown man living with your aunt, that's not gonna work too well. Okay, let's go find out what Simeon wants. And here we are. Listen, Simeon, you can't blame me for the bike. I'm your homie. I would not try and steal a bike from you. That was all Lamar. I'm employee of the month after all. Would I do something like that? You're I don't think race. so. What? what? You don't like me because you think that I am an Arab. What? They'll no, try to bait him. <laughs> Excuse like me. That, wait. that oh, wait, boy. I, I... I am his mentor. I am so proud of you. What do you mean, a mentor? Don't worry about that. Okay, so what you got for him? James DeSanta. Some kid. He is already late on his payments, and I have this bad feeling that he will do more damage to the car than we can get back from him in the exorbitant interest rate payments. <laughs> uh, just go and get it. The house is on um, uh, Hampstead uh, off Eclipse. It's an SUV. Huh? Some Rockford Hills daddy's boy nonsense. Don't worry about it. Try to bring the car back in good condition, huh? I got you. Don't worry about it. It's so good to see you, my boy. Hey, good luck in uh, law school, huh? <laughs> law school? Law school? Oh, yeah, listen, my mentor, multicultural, legitimate business owner, thank you. In fact, can I call you daddy? I love you. Where's my kiss at? Mentor, law school. <laughs> totally, law school. I mean, that, that would be a good occupation. Being a lawyer would come in real handy when you're in trouble for doing some illegal shit. Okay, so we're gonna go and repo a SUV from some daddy's boy. Mm. Maybe it's that same guy. The one that's like, I'm not a racist man. He was fat with all the tattoos. Maybe that's him. I don't know. I feel like Simeon's uh, pawning off all his trashy vehicles on a lot of idiots. You're a racist. I'm not a racist. I'll buy your car for exorbitant interest fees. Oh, Simeon. Hey, did you change your mind? When I discover that you betray me, perhaps. I hear you took the bike for yourself, my employee of the month. Listen, me? man, me and Lamar was going to get that back to you, dog. Oh, I am sure. You will get this car off the daddy's boy, and then we talk. Insurance papers say they have a locked garage, so you'll need to gain access from inside the house. Man, it's never easy with you, is it, Simi? Do not talk to me about easy, you thief. But me? Daddy! No! My mentor's mad at me, man! God damn it, Lamar! See what you've gone and done? Trying to keep that ugly ass green looking motorcycle. Hey, get your ass out of the way. All when you right, see me coming, way. move your car. There are no laws in Los Santos. See what he's done? He's gotten me in trouble with my mentor. I guarantee I'm gonna lose the employee of the month plaque and then I'm gonna be real pissed. Even though it really doesn't mean much of anything. 
Again, move when I'm driving into you. God damn. Simeon uses employee of the month as a way to manipulate me into doing dirty shit. I'm on to him. I know what's up, man. I wasn't born yesterday. Okay, so we're gonna literally park on the sidewalk. Well, that's not fishy. Find a way into the house. Well, this shouldn't be too hard. I'm just gonna jump over a fence midday. What could go wrong? Don't worry, guys, I live here. Yeah, for sure, I live here. I just forgot my keys and the passcode to the gate. Oh, wait, hold up, this might work. Yeah. This guy's got a tennis court? Uh, press L3 to enter stealth mode. When in stealth mode, moving around will generate less noise. Oh, okay, so being stealthy is simply being old. Right, I'm a decrepit old grandpa. Yeah, I'm real stealthy. I'm basically invisible. This guy's got a tennis court? You rich ass bastard. He's gotta be worth like $500 million. He has a tennis court right here. Like, who can afford a tennis court in their backyard? His water fountain is larger than my kitchen. I wonder how many cars I would have to repo to be able to afford a house like this. Probably quite a bit. And I would need to be more than just employee of the month. To reach the open window, climb onto the car and then onto the roof by pressing square. Right, I'm an invisible old man, nothing to see here. See how I walk like I've got spinal problems? It's just because you have a massive gaper, bitch. Fucking homo, you're dead. Dad! <laughs> he said I had a massive... Massive Did what? He called me a bitch! Oh, I sense a bunch of spoiled rich children. Try to knife the... Retrieve the car. Okay. So wait, I'm just going to try and go in through the house to find their car? I'll cut your dick off if you call the administrator. Hey, you know what? I am the administrator. <laughs> oh, well, you suck Batman's dick. <laughs> what? This seems highly illegal. The things I'll do for okay, Simeon. You're 12, I'll still rape you. Oh, this kid's playing a video game. Wait, is that the same? Dead, you fucking idiot. It's the fat ass from the uh, Simeon shop when he was trying to pawn off that ugly ass yellow uh, SUV. It's the same kid. Ooh, That's the daddy's boy? You lucky piece of shit. I wish oh I had a dad gosh. that would give me everything I wanted. Okay, oh so we God. can't get caught. My brother is such a homo. My brother is such a homo. Like more medical problems than the ones he's already been Like more medical <laughs> problems. I talk Mental like this because I'm rich and spoiled. Seriously, penises are not meant to be that small. Okay, so where's the garage? I feel like I would be confused living in a house this large. Going downstairs to get breakfast would be like trying to get your daily cardio in. You're a real pro, Mrs. DeSanta. A real oh! pro. Oh! Oh, shit! You're a great student. Now just loosen up those hips. Okay. Well, I can sense an affair happening here. Yeah, Maybe I should be one of those um, private detectives or whatever they're called, uh, trying to catch people okay. in affairs for the husband or wife. I think my husband's cheating on me. I just run around and photograph everything he does. Basically, it's being a pervert. But if it pays, I'm down. And this is the car Simeon pawned off on the rich kid. Oh my God, Simeon, you are a master. He really knows how to work the kid, huh? Just bait him in, call him a racist, tell him he's not man enough for a car like this, get a hybrid. Next thing you know, he's spending his daddy's money on a yellow SUV. Incredible. And I'm just gonna drive it out like I own it? Okay, well shit. If that's how it is, that's how it is. I have balls of steel. Okay, wow. Um, Amazingly, that's minimal damage. Oh, and there's Simeon. I guarantee he knows. It was an hey, accident, Simeon. Simeon. I got the ride, man. I'm coming back. Yeah, if you actually bring the repossession to me this time, I can have it back out on the street before the day is done. For real? Damn. See, he's, a, he's an expert. He just knows how to put words together in such a way to really blackmail people into buying his garbage. What a pro. That's a nine millimeter semi-automatic pushed against your skull. Uh, look around. You just keep driving where you're going. Hey, come on, man. This was a repo job. Guy was behind on his fucking note. Unlikely, considering my son just got the car. And looking at the way you're going about this, my guess, 
You're working a credit fraud. A credit fraud? Be serious, dude. I just worked the fucking repo. I appreciate a kid who follows orders without taking responsibility. Yeah, maybe one day we'll have a beer, and I'll explain how the world really works. Who gives you the slip? A car dealer, dog, by the name of Simeon Terry. So this businessman, he look legit to you? Look, man, it's just between him and your fucking son. Don't worry. Me and Mr. Yatarian, we'll work this out. Yo, shit, that's Michael. Hey, what up, man? You don't know who I am, but I know who you are, and yo, my God, you've been doing some shit. You're just as illegal as I am. Just as much of a criminal. I heard you blew up an entire bank for $179,000. Not very smart. Hey, man. And you got it's shot. Jess up here. Okay. Stop the car. Pull Wait. Up. You do know your wife's cheating on you, right? With the tennis instructor? Like she's in there grinding on his junk as we speak. Why the hell are you in the back of this SUV anyway? I have so many questions. Okay, so uh, are we here? I think so. That yeah, the there place? we go. Yeah, this the place, man. Whoa. Drive into it. Right through the fucking window. And fast. Or I'll put two rounds in the back of your skull and do it myself. Man, you can't be for real. I look like a fucking joke to you. Man. Fuck my life, man. Fuck you. <laughs> Aw, poor Franklin. He's just trying to make a few I bucks on the side. <laughs> hey, uh, hey, Simeon, we got company. And this dude isn't small time. He's pro. Shit! Shit! Franklin, what the fuck are you doing? Mr. Simeon, it's not exactly how it looks. I always trump big for a job well done. Now get out of here, kid. For real? You motherfucker! Oh, okay, now I'm Michael. No, you hey, what up, you old bitch? Come here, bring me that bald ass head. Trying to steal my son's car? No one steals my son's shit. Except for me. Actually, he's a fat piece of shit that jerks off all day. I understand. But, I mean, if you're gonna try and do something like that, you gotta go through me first. You recognize this car? Huh? Does it look like it's worth five grand a month to you? You fucking racist. But there he goes again. <laughs> oh! I'm Tyson. This thing's gonna need some serious body work or it's worth five grand a month. Oh! <laughs> Michael is not I playing. The financing I have his signature. Yeah, did he agree to have some punk break into my fucking house? I, I don't know. I, uh... That kid might be a fucking idiot, but you are a fraudulent scumbag piece of shit. Oh. Don't make me have to come back here. Uh, okay. Well, and now we're playing as Michael. Uh, okay, so we already have an auto save slot that I can save over. Yeah, let's do that. Jesus Christ. What I love about Michael is he looks like a suburban typical dad. Maybe he's got like a law job somewhere as an attorney or I don't know, a physician, but this dude is straight up top tier criminal. He's killed countless people busted heads in, done it all, and he just looks like some normal ass guy that would never do anything. It's hilarious. He even gave Franklin some money. Like, come on now. Oh, thanks for driving through the window. Here's some cash. Now leave while I beat this guy to death. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, so now that we're Michael, what exactly are we supposed to do? Um, oh wait, is that Michael's house? It is. Okay, so that's, that's our house. Well, I know what I want to do. Let's go back and beat the tennis instructor's ass. Over there letting my wife grind on his dick like that. Come on now. I was inside the house. How are you going to be that big of a skank to, to, uh, what's that? Amanda, Michael, you, uh, you bought that court, but never use it. My grip and ball control has definitely improved. Coach is V hard on me. Ah, uh, I'm sensing there's more happening here than just tennis instructing. Someone's going to die. Sorry, man. I need to borrow a car because I currently don't have one. Actually, you know what? Screw that. No, no, no. I'm stealing a car from Simeon's lot. Piece of shit. Trying to scam my son like that? I don't think so. I'll just borrow this car right here. Bye, Simeon, you piece of garbage. Okay, so let's go to Michael's house and uh, beat up a tennis instructor. All right, here we are. And for whatever reason, Franklin's car is still parked here. And if you're wondering why I'm in a golf cart, wearing golf clothing, 
Uh, a guy handed me a joint. Next thing you know, I'm in this bad boy doing sick donuts in the parking lot. Honey, I'm home, you old skank. You haven't been playing any uh, tennis with someone, have you? This is Michael's safe house. You can save vehicles by parking them in the garage. Uh, or I could buy new vehicles because I'm pretty sure I'm goddamn loaded after that bank heist at all, $179,000. Wait up, I've got a single car garage? What type of bullshit is that? I'm rich. I want the Lambo, the Bentley, the Ferrari, the Rolls Royce. I don't want one car. Are you kidding me? Hey, honey, I hear you've been working on your stroke game. <laughs> uh, I have no idea. My wife is a skank and I'm going to beat her ass. Try and cheat on me. See what happens. You're such a fucking dictator. Why the fuck not? He is not staying the night. The does my, my, my daughter has a tramp stamp? What type of family is this? <laughs> and Michael's like, yeah, I don't care about them. I've got my scotch or whatever drink that is, vodka, I don't know. I've got my drink, some music, and a fat cigar. I'm just gonna lay outside and enjoy the day. Jesus Christ, they sound so dysfunctional. Spoiled rich brats. That looks nice. Oh yeah, that is the life. Minus the crazy family. Uh, what up, homie? We friends now? What do you want? Man, I'll come by for that drink you offered, that's all. I wasn't really serious about that. <laughs> what? Uh, Don't break his heart. Uh, sit. You're not gonna rob me again. Man, I never robbed you. That was just a repossession. <laughs> mm. You call it whatever you want to call it. I really don't care. What can I do for you? Shit, I just came by to see if there's something I can help you with. I see you doing well for yourself. Look, I'm retired. Ain't you a big young for the pipe, slippers, and staring at a fucking sunset? <laughs> you know, I've been in this game for a lot of years, and I got out alive. That makes me the right age. Fair enough. You look like a good kid. But if you want my advice, give the shit up. You work hard, screw over everybody that you love. Hurt, rob, kill indiscriminately, and maybe, just maybe if you're lucky, you become a three-bit gangster. It's bullshit. Go to college. Then you're gonna rip people off and get paid for it. For real? called capitalism. Hmm. So what I saw the other day was like when a corpse briefly reanimates itself and terrorizes everyone, right? <laughs> what you saw the other day was a guy dealing with pests. I guess I never saw myself as just a fucking pest. Well, in today's lesson's all about humility. Tomorrow we'll try a training montage. A training what? Nothing. I was just lost in an 80s movie fantasy. <laughs> Yeah, I can see you spend a lot of time there. Yeah, as much as I can. So that's why you're here in Vinewood then, right? Maybe I'm here because I'm just an idiot who thinks that imported palm trees are a good substitute for not really knowing what the fuck you're doing on this earth. Jesus, man. You a good time, you know that. I tell you what. <sighs> Least I can do is buy you that beer. Oh, There's shit! A little bar I like. Not too far from here. Let's go. All right, man. I'm following you. Damn, Michael seems like a nice guy that can tear you into a thousand pieces. Let's take Amanda's car. Amanda's car? Jimmy. Oh, there's my fat bastard son. Watch this. This guy is pathetic. Hey, Jim. I'm going for a drink. With... Dad? Shit. I mean, our boat going down the Western Highway. It's. It's been stolen. What? The yacht's been stolen? I, I was. Trying to sell it. I know you didn't want it sold, but I need money, and they don't want to buy it. They just want to take it. I'm hiding in the head. You're what? insane. All right, I'm coming for my boat. All righty then. Change of plans. My darling boy is in trouble. I'll do what I can to help with that, man. Hey, thanks, homie. You know what? Me and you are friends from now on. Just because you're cool. And uh, you, you got awesome swagger. I mean, I got nothing. I'm wearing like old man clothing. I, 
My son must be the biggest moron on earth. Is it too late to get an abortion? I mean, he's like, what, 28 years old, jacking off in his room and playing video games? I think it's not too late to get an abortion. Every court will agree with me. It's not too late. He tried to steal my boat to sell it to get money because I wouldn't give it to him? What a degenerate. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie though, I have a sweet ass setup. Holy shit. God damn, this is a big ass house. You know what this kid reminds me of, Jimmy? Uh, Michael's son? He reminds me of, uh, oh, what's his name? The guy from the Hangover movie, the, the dumb guy with the ginger beard. What was his name? Oh, that's gonna drive me crazy. He reminds me of that guy, but only not funny at all and completely stupid. Oh shit, we got the convertible? Hop in. Do not, I need all the YouTube ad revenue. Lesson number one, don't ever have kids. Mm. Hey man, look, if I had kids, I don't think no parenting issues would arise over who had both privileges and who don't. Shit, motherfuckers would be lucky to sit in a bathtub. <laughs> shit, things that desperate, huh? Nah, oh, but you know, shit, I was making a point. Mythologizing self-deprecation. I know it well. Yeah, man, but shit, where the boat at? Little shit's been hijacked. They're somewhere on the western highway. Man, ain't you worried? About my boat? No yeah, I am. But you can always buy another boat. Yeah, tell my accountant that. Man, you can always get credit for one. But have you come repo it? No, thank you. <laughs> All right, homie. I ain't your homie. I'm someone you want to impress. Really? Oh, shit. Man, I thought you was retired. Why the fuck do I want to impress some slipper wearing motherfucker? <laughs> because I can still teach you a thing or two. Maybe help you open the door to all the joys that boat-related parenting issues entail. So I'm gonna help you get this boat back, right? That you are, my friend. God, I love the dialogue in this game. It's amazing. Witty with a lot of slang and a lot of cursing. I just realized I could say fuck, because this video is gonna get demonetized most likely. GTA has tons of swearing, so fuck, I'll say whatever I want. Fuck you! Oh, that feels good. Normally I can't say that because all my videos get demonetized, but this series will probably straight up be a yellow dollar sign <laughs> all the way through. I cannot wait to catch up to that fat lard. Does he really think he can just jack my boat like that? What an idiot. He probably met some old dude under a bridge that's like, yeah, I'll give you 32,000 for that boat. Bring it over. And him being the idiot he is with no education is like, that sounds pretty good. I can buy like porno mags with that 30,000. Idiot. Good God. Why does Michael even there, have a son? There, there it is. That's my boat. Your boat's in a fucking hurry, man. Yeah, well, we'll <laughs> catch him. Yeah, why would Michael even have a family? He clearly doesn't care about them. My wife is cheating on me. My son is basically brain dead. My daughter has a plan. tramp stamp. Sure. What's Probably for appearance sake. You're the boarding party. More like the falling in traffic party. You'll be fine. <laughs> Anything happens, I got a piece of the glove box. I'll cover you. Oh yeah, man, fine. Just fucking fine. So you thought of everything, right? Well, you said you want to learn the old way of doing oh, things. Whoa, whoa, Franklin, hold on, bro. Shit, Shit no! <laughs> I am so sorry, my man. I, I can't drive. Someone should, someone should seriously straight up take my license away because I do not know how to drive in this game. It's like you're driving on ice the entire time. Oh my God, seriously. All right, let's try this again. Hey, what are we about to do? I'm gonna get hey. you close, and you're gonna go board that thing. All right, man, shit. Fuck this let's dude's going it. crazy. Right, I got a piece in the glove box. They give you shit, I'll take them out. All that's cool, man. You shoot with one hand and drive it with the other. But my motherfucking concern is, I might miss the jump and fall in fucking trap. You said you wanted to learn from the best. Let's call this lesson number one. What the hell was that? I can't oh! How is a truck with a multi-ton right, boat in. faster than me? I'm, I'm in a sports car. Man, this thing's a pile of shit, man. Don't slip now. Hey, you want me to do this shit? You better get me. Oh, Jump! Woohoo! Let's go, Franklin. Fuck him up. Fuck, oh, kid. Man, my fat ass son is about to get a whooping. Ah, oh, I can't wait. Shit. Oh, shit. damn! It's a real fight. Shit. Beat that thug up. Go and knock his ass out. Throw him off the boat. Man, this driver is insane. Oh! Let's go, Franklin. Now, where's my fat ass son at? 
I know he's on that boat. With the wrong hey, oh shit, hey, oh shit, oh shit. Over shit. Here. You good, Franklin? These guys are crazy. They actually thought they could hijack my boat, drive down the highway like a maniac in a souped up truck. I mean, how? Oh shit, oh, Franklin's in trouble. Oh shit. Hey, listen, Franklin, it's a little harder than I thought trying to drive a shoot at the same time. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Nope. This is hard. This is real hard. Let go of my friend, bitch! <laughs> now throw their bodies off the edge. I want to run them over. Try and steal my boat? Okay. I don't think so. Now go find Jimmy. Oh! Wait, you're the guy from the dealership. Yeah, and it's a long story, bro. Oh, Jimmy! Oh. Yeah, watch out for the boom! Wrong button. Fuck. Hold on! Actually, this is a perfect opportunity. Maybe I'll let his fat ah, ass die. He's gonna kill me. Oh shit, I don't want to die. I think you want to die. What the fuck you even doing here? Pull up on them so you can drop in the car. Do I have to save this kid? All right, you fat tub of lard. Drop in. If you scratch my car, you're dead. Kid? Dad! Don't dad me, you little shit. <laughs> you better hope she's still seaworthy. Oh! Come on, kid. Come on, kid. All right, Franklin, jump. Come jump. On, come on, bro. Come on, come on. My car's starting oh, to smoke. Shit. That is not good. Yeah. Jump, 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 jump! Hey, close, man, close. I'm trying, but my ah, car is slow close. for some reason. I ain't jumping for here, jump, man. jump! Mm, man, let's go. Alright, climb in. I don't want you falling off and dying. That everyone? Alright, time to get the boat back. Oh, that's not good. Now that doesn't sound good. Hey, and that's the engine, man. We ain't chasing shit in this thing. Don't you die on me yet. Ah, my fucking boat. Yeah, hey, it's gone. It's just a thing. At least you still got a son. That's hey, worse. It's a chop shop back there, dog. If you drive us there, we can get the ride fixed. All right, it looks like we're going for a quick pit stop. You know, my car wouldn't be smoking if your fat ass didn't drop in, lard ball. It's just a thing. My boat. Please stop doing that. Listen. I fucked up, okay? I'm not going to lie. That was a really bad judgment call. No but shit. Shit, Dad, I nearly died. And all you give a shit about is this fucking boat. No, not that. It's all we do is scream at each other. No wonder I can't get a job. It's all your fucking fault. Oh, really? Or it's not, but it's partly your fault. Mm. I, I mean, I just want to impress you. By selling my boat to some gangbangers? I know it sounds dumb when you put it like that, but all you do is daydream or get angry. Look, I love you, Jimmy, but you're an asshole. And right now, with my boat disappearing over the horizon, that's all I can see. Franklin, do you do me a favor and give this kid a ride home after they fix this thing? I want to headbutt the road in peace. <laughs> oh, great. Leave me with the home invader. Hey, I'll watch your mouth. Done, dog. No problem. He's my best yeah, friend now. Enough. All right. Enough. In fact, I'm hey, adopting Franklin. Franklin. You call me a cab. No problem. Thanks, Franklin. Hey, See, that's what a son's for. I need a cab as soon as you can send one. Los Santos Customs, by the airport. All right, thanks. Thank you. Hey, so you uh do much yachting? Not anymore. No, I don't. Before, I mean, man. Eh? No, no, not really. This little shit stays in his room all day, and I don't have any other people to go with, you know? I like looking at it. Looking? Yeah. You know, I come down to the marina, sit on the dock, pour myself a drink, and look at her. Jacqueline. It'd clear my head, you know? Let me dream. Jacqueline, huh? Well, maybe you need to do some other shit to fill your time. Dream other dreams, man. Yeah, sure. Whatever. I mean, he's not wrong. Staring at a boat's kind of weird. What's the fun in owning a boat if all you do is stare at it? I'd have house parties on that shit all the time, you kidding me? Or boat parties, I guess. See, I don't know anything about parties. I've never had the money for one. Hey, listen, Franklin, when you drop my son off home, how about you have a little accident and split his brains open? Alan, from The Hangover. The kid's name was Alan, or the guy's name was Alan. My son is Alan. But he's not funny, at all. He's annoying, in fact. I still don't understand why Michael even bothered with the family when clearly they're all co complete pieces of shit and pathetic. Maintaining a relationship can be 
Okay, Los Santos Customs. Hey, this the place up here. I know this dude, man. His name Hal. He gonna look after it. All right, take what's in my pocket. A couple thousand bucks. That'll cover it, right? <laughs> hey. Yeah, it should be cool. So you sure you're good? Yeah, I got this. All right. Ooh, I'm gonna come up front. Get out and walk around. It's okay, I can just climb over. Look, man, I'm gonna get the ride fixed, man, and drop it back off at your house along with this dude. <laughs> it's all good, though, man. You gonna get your head right, all right? All right, listen, thanks for today. I appreciate it. You stop back out to the house, we'll talk. Ugh, you see? The show, man. Hey, sorry we didn't get your boat, man. Yeah. Come on, man, let's trick this whip, homie. Okay, Alan, you went from stealing my goddamn boat Nearly getting us killed, and then now you want to trick this whip bell, homie. I'm about to abort your ass right now. It'd be an accident, of course. We're outside, maybe in the pool, and then for whatever reason, he just sinks to the bottom with cinder blocks on his legs. I don't know. Uh, get Amanda's car repaired, okay? And can we get, like, an upgrade? Because this engine is whack. We literally almost lost a race to a truck. Carrying a multi-ton boat. That should not happen. This thing is slow. It's Still got one of those EcoBoost engines. Franklin. See if you drive as fast as you talk. No, it's a hybrid. Dude, what's happening? Okay, repair right. vehicle. It is new. Oh, this seems so. I don't think gonna be embarrassed to borrow this thing. Ah, yikes! After buying Dude, so many upgrades at GTA. Getting everything for the most expensive car, it seems almost Power embarrassing. To upgrade or this piece of shit. Like, I'm not even gonna bother, yeah, honestly. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm pretty sure you can get mods for the game and just get like every upgrade, every all the money in the world for the single player. Not that I'll, I'll do that, you understand, but still, it, it's just weird after playing GTA Online and having endless amounts of money, then I have this pile of crap car that normally I would steal from someone, like an NPC. All right, fat all right, ass, man, we're gonna I'll drop this off. Home. It's Franklin, right? Yeah, Franklin, or the credit for our guy, the home invader. You know what? Call me what you like, man. Yeah, uh, I, no, I, I mean, sure. Jimmy, ain't he? Or James? Jimmy, or just like, Jizzle? <laughs> no, nah, man, I'll just stick with Jimmy, homie. So, uh, what's the deal, man? Huh? You and my old man? I see you at the dealership, and someone steals my whip, and Papa's all like, he's been down there to talk to you guys. Your pops did more than talk. What'd he do? Look, man, if he ain't tell you, I ain't gonna tell you. But I lost my fucking job, and I thought maybe he could help me find a new one. Dude, my dad is retired. Like, fully? Like, his only marketable skills are watching TV and daytime drinking. <sighs> man, look, I don't know, homie. He seems okay to me. Shit, he saved your ass. You saved my ass. Nah, nah, man. Well, well, maybe we good together, you know? Like, maybe we can get shit done we couldn't do separately. If it keeps him out of the house, that's cool by me. Yeah, well, we'll see. Look, I'm sorry my dad lost to your job. It's hard out there. Tough. I mean, I'm employmentally challenged at the moment. Oh, you got fired, dude. Damn, that's rough. Not fired as such. I, I didn't get a job. Like I've ever? Been there, homie. You've been putting them resumes out there, but no one's hiring, huh? No, I, uh, I didn't get a job. I've never had a job. It feels like hard work. Life, the days just kind of disappear. Hey, you play right to slaughter? Nah, not since the first couple. Okay. <laughs> Fat spoiled bitch. He doesn't want a job because it's hard work. Oh my God. Like if I got filthy rich, like millions of dollars, and by some miracle I got married and had a kid, I would never allow them to have any money until they got older, like at least 17 or 18. A kid that grows up with unlimited amounts of money and whatever they want, they just turn into a vegetable. They don't know what the hell they're doing. No responsibilities, no job. They don't understand what it's like to save money and buy things. I mean, to be honest, I don't know what would be worse. Growing up in a family with all the money in the world and just being basically completely clueless and a vegetable, having everything spoon fed to you or growing up in extreme poverty. I'm not sure. Like I grew up in a family with no money and uh, I knew we had to work for shit. Of course, now that I do YouTube, I never upload because I've learned to be lazy. All right, fat ass, come on. Get out of the car. Oh, get back in the car. Oh, I'm supposed to park it, huh? That is a gangster way to get in a car. This dude's so badass. 
Unlike Jimmy, fat ass. You know what? Your name's not Jimmy. Your name is Alan now. Yo, so like, since we're both unemployed, like, we could run together, you know? Yeah, I think about it, homie. Or, or we could just like, shop it, you know? Play darts or get our drink on? Strip clubs? Come on, dude, I get real crazy. Yeah, I got your number, shit, I need it, man, but uh... Hey, hey, you know what? Man, go easy on your pops, dog. all right? All right, church. <laughs> exactly, what? man. What? My brother from another mother. I mean, I, I hope so, because my mom was kind of a skank back in the day. See back ya. in the day, yeah, huh? Whatever, homie. Peace. Nah, she a skank now. I caught her ass in there grinding up on the tennis instructor's dick. I know what's going down. Okay, so we went to steal or rather repo a car from Michael and then now we're like low-key friends and he's gonna hook us up with a job potentially I mean that listen that's the way to go lucky for us Michael isn't a complete piece of garbage um yo F dog I've added you on life invader what the hell's life invader accept my request and we can hang I'm not hanging with your dumb ass silver spoon looking bitch you don't know anything about anything you, you've never even had a job. You're spoiled. Nah, screw you. Oh, Simeon. Hey, look, man. Look, you were like a son to me. Employee of the month. Does that mean nothing to you? Man, nah. the dude had a gun in my head. No loyalty, no integrity. You should have taken the bullet. My business, my totally legitimate business. You are fucked, my boy. Fucked. Okay, you bald ass bitch. Seriously? Loyalty? Because I'm employee of the month. You wanted me to take a bullet in the head? I'm about to roll into your house or your legit establishment and beat your ass too. God damn. So, well, I was gonna ask, are we gonna still do jobs for Simeon? But it looks like we are now fucked. So I guess that means no. All right, so it looks like if Michael's not gonna give us a job, we may actually be in serious trouble. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And until next time, peace out.